We need to also make sure the ibadat that we engage in are proper. Don't rush in an act of worship. Take it easy. Don't rush in an act of worship. Take your time. Have a moment for Allah. So your salah that you read, your farad salah especially, and even that which is extra, make sure you've taken your time in it. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum used to read beautiful salah, amazing. There are so many stories of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, Salli salata muwadda'in. You should read your salah as though it's the last salah. Malakul maut is waiting for you. The angel of death is waiting for you. He's just waiting for you to finish your salah and you are going. Imagine if that was the case, what type of salah would you read? So read the salah like that, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, we have something to learn from them. They used to perfect it as best as they could, subhanallah. What about us? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us. In order to con concentrate in salah, you need to rid your mind and your heart of haram and unnecessary things. We have a mind and a heart similar to a computer or the memory of your phone. If your memory is 64 gigabytes in your phone and you have unnecessary pictures, unnecessary voice notes, unnecessary things, every day you're downloading this and that which is not necessary. Then when you want to download something necessary, two things happen. One is your hard drive is full and two is the phone slows down so much. You press a button and you think for three minutes for this application to open because you've got too much unnecessary things in there. The same thing happens to a computer. The same thing happens to your brain and to your heart. Too much unnecessary things. Argument with this guy. You have a deal with this guy that went sour. You have some problem with this. You have pornography in the head. You have music and all the other things piled up. How are you going to memorize Quran? All those Bollywood songs, Hollywood songs, Nollywood songs and Jollywood songs. We know all of them. Everything we know, off by heart. What about Surat Yasin? We don't know it off by heart. We still make mistakes. So this is why we say, rid it. Rid your mind and heart of unnecessary things. Sinful and even that which is unnecessary. Take it out. You will find your processing speed becomes quick. When you say Allahu Akbar, your concentration is in Salah. Because why? I don't have too much of... Uh, unnecessary things happening outside Salah. So in Salah, it's quick. But if there's unnecessary things, the minute you say Allahu Akbar, you know what happens? Your mind first goes, hey, you know, this morning I saw a very, very nice car. What happened? You are listening to the Imam supposed to be. He is telling you, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. You are supposed to say Ameen. It's only happening by default. It's not happening because you concentrated. Many people, when they, غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين, without thinking, they say Ameen. Am I right? Ameen. Whether it's softly or aloud, depending on what you're doing. They say the Ameen. Agreed? Sometimes when the taraweeh is going on, the imam is reading from somewhere else in the Quran and he is saying another verse that ends in the same way, Baalin, and you hear the imam reading that verse when he says that Baalin, people are just saying Ameen because they are tuned to say Ameen every time they hear Baalin. That means your mind is somewhere else. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I've heard it with my own ears in the masajid. So my beloved brothers, let us realize this. Let us understand gaining closeness to Allah. Be happy with the decree of Allah. Strive towards pleasing Allah. 